this thing on? Hey, gotcha, Roxers! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Salmon Addict? It's me, your old pal Salmonella Raffle. <laughs> so, previously on the last stream, I showed you guys how the magic happened to the studio, and we also ate together. Well, mostly B, because <laughs> I was doing a mukbang on a sweet steak. <laughs> so, for today's stream, we'll go to my crush's house and do a romantic thing by showing up in a room random. It's the police! Open the door! What the? This is so hashtag random. Like, hashtag weird. Did any of you do a squat prank on me, you trollers? Lemao. <laughs> it's the police. Open the door now or we Yeah, will... yeah, calm all your boobies, bruh. And wait, I'm about to open more. What the frick are you doing? You were not responding, sir. We had to take drastic measure. WTH, man! Do you even have a warrant on you to just barge in on my house like you even for real, for real freaking broke sir, my door? Please calm down. I can sue you for this! Really? Uh, are you freaking for real? Bye, no. yeah. Bye, play Ace Attorney! Did you just. Did you just put a huh. freaking hole in my house, please, you lame Put your hands up! Are you wanted for killing your Jima? Better play Ace Attorney. Are you bored out of your mind? Better play Ace Attorney. Did the police break down your door just for nothing? Wait, that's wrong. We're here to arrest him. Uh, well, do you have a warrant? Yes, we do. Hmm. By the way, officer, why is he getting arrested first? Well... Wait, what are you doing? You're an attorney, right? Help me for oh. God's sake. Then... Please continue, officers. Alright, squad, go! I'm trying to hire you here, what the frick are you- Better play Ace Attorney! So, so you two fuckers, fuckers better, better play Ace Attorney! attorney. I just call Phoenix Wright. Huh. Joseph Beans. Objection! Hey, yo, what's up? It's me, your boy, Joe Beans, back at it again with another video. And yeah, you know the drill. I'm just here to say hi, what's up, you know. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so, just about later. We back, boys. Yo, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess it really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. Director and producer, huh? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. Uh, not at all. Got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. <laughs> so, WP. Do you have any leads that might get us going into the right direction? Mmm. Uh, z sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yeah Do, uh, fanboys sneak into the o studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. <laughs> Old bag gotta get fired. Was the director present at the morning run through? Y yes, y yes he was. He was directing how to steal samurai. The evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? W well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lord. Hey, hey, that's too much, Maya. That's too much. <laughs> why did I, why did I like try to imitate Mario and Luigi? <laughs> Shit, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. Uh, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? <laughs> you aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Regarding this photograph, yeah, yeah. this really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? Right. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. But who else could have worn it? The costume was in your dressing room. Yeah. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? <laughs> Where's old Beg? No one's here. Oh, she's not here. Right. 
Now that I have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Oh, really? Oh, shit. The chirpings hurt my ears. Okay, then, outside Studio 1. Still can't enter the Studio 2, huh? Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe is in here today. Uh, you're right. It's probably up to his neck and paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with a fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's your chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Ooh, so we can actually go there now. Studio 2 entrance. This is Studio 2. <laughs> yeah, how dull. I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. Looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Oh, that's a trailer. I thought trailers were all like supposed to be uh maybe I don't know trailers as much as I thought so. First let's examine shit. A van. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Uh, well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? Well, look, I have this. <laughs> Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? It's much better than a license, Maya. <laughs> a weed. Nah, I can't. An incinerator. Apparently, they just put his one in. It's already covered in suit. They must not clean it much, huh? The food. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steaks. But something does seem out of place. Uh, what? I don't know, it just feels odd. The bones, maybe? Them bones, them bones, them. Damn some bones. Oh, a crooked fence. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. The fence look dangerous. A house. On close inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Door? Nick, let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh, well, it's locked. Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, yuck. <laughs> well, looks like we can't do anything more here. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Ah, <sighs> there's nothing to do here. Alright. Look, it's that assistant girl. Uh, hey, hi, WP's lawyer, right? I heard about a trial. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. It's a tree they caught the security lady? Oh, oh. <laughs> Why the fuck do you laugh like that, Phoenix? Actually, just she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Nice way to cover up, huh? Wow, what a mess. <laughs> I, I know. <gasps> She's psychic. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work in the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she just should worry at least a little bit more. Yeah. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Mag. Uh, right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Investigate. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, it came into that drain, huh? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. I feel kinda sorry for him though, don't you? What? You want to rip the grate off? <laughs> really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. I mean, maybe we can meet him later, so rip it open. But I feel bad for Penny. Oh, God. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yeah, like my love life. Oh! Yeah, you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hee-ya! There, that should make kids happy. The things we do, are the ones we love. The green grade is off, and I'd know who did it. 
Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good day like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. True. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Yeah, at the other studio there was no bones. Then some bones. This is where the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says at least. I guess he snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers had been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. Just got a point. Got not much, nothing to do here, so I guess main gate? Oh, hello. Ho ho, you look like a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. They don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over in them in the employer area? Yeah, can you believe it? <gasps> so if she didn't clean it up, why was the bones in the steak bone steak plates in the studio too not there? Hmm? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Uh, well... I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him though. I heard something at the trial today. They said the director and the producer were here at the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room so I didn't see them. I guess they were here though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet, so they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the Trebrinka disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? That's kinda sus. <laughs> samurai. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? I mean, Jack Hammer, bro. Uh, Ryan Cole offices? Nope. Detention center? Nope. Main gate? Nope. Studio one? Nope. Studio two? Yep. <laughs> this place is deserted. Crash! Eek! N -n 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 Nick! What was that noise? Sound like it came from inside a trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in, Maya. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Alright, let's go. Yo, we need a key, bro. Not here. The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Wait. How? Oh god, man. Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys. Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good about keeping those out of outsiders in, huh? Uh, thanks, I'll be careful. Um... Where should I go, man? Uh, dressing room? What the fuck? Who are you dudes, Lamel? Oh shit, it's this dude. Uh, uh, we... Wait, you first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. How could you not know the great Salmonella? I make the lead shows, the still samurai, mine, RTSC, read the film credits, yo. <laughs> R really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just... you look so... Uh, sorry. No, no, quite alright, really. It's fine, Ruffle. <laughs> Rolling on the floor, laughing. What is it? You know, on closer inspection. Oh shit, he's a pedophile. Wait, how old is Salmonella? He's 32, he's older than Gumshoe. What the fuck? That's surprising. Hmm, yeah, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Ah oh, shit, it's Dan Schneider. Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay to that costume Rocksters? <laughs> Fuck, I feel disgusted. Rock source? 
Hey, you're drooling. Uh, mm, lol, buffer overrun. <laughs> You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai Pink Princess Wario of Lil Il Old Tokyo. <laughs> Ruffle, Lamau, rolling on the floor, laughing my ass off. Fucking hell. <laughs> but Pink Princess. Why well, it gotta be a little old Tokyo? Why can't you have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Um, do you know I'm a process a lawyer? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. Laughing out loud. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's a pedophile, man. I need. We need to call 911 now. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. The security lady told you about us, eh? Yeah, that's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio Two trailer. Huh? <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Sad face emoji. <laughs> T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucksers. I hate missing out on food, man. Nick, what does sucksors mean? No idea. Same. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With a producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting, gi that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius! Mad skills all the way! Scary though! Sweats! <laughs> Masaka! <laughs> she brought these studios back from the brink of destruction! She's the one who made it possible for me to do make- to make the Steel Samurai! You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. and the whole time. He may not be the murderer, but he can be... He can be in jail for something else. Like... Pedophilia. Who exactly are these big, big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors also a few production guys. They party till limousine got here right around noon. Major your tension. Masaka. <laughs> I'm just gonna connect sweat to Masaka. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Grr. Why would Scarl Scowl? Hmm. Sounds like they'd be all be reliable witnesses. Shit, dude, stop, man. D this is WP, right? How do you know? Well, Luke is obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury he was there. Oh, uh -huh. oh shit, she is back. You again. Geek. How oh, rude acting like you've seen a ghost. You. Certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare still samurai costume. Told me to put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. <laughs> How tall is that old bag? As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. That would rule out her being the murderer. <laughs> anyway, no this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> this lady's too much. <laughs> hey, hey, man. You give her a break. You did accuse her of murder. Um, about the kid you saw, you saw. You said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. <laughs> uh, about the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. I see him. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck's happening? <laughs> Let's go back to the employee area. Yeah. Hey. Hey, wait. I bet he came in right through the drain. Hey, I'm Kitty O. <laughs> Kitty O. <laughs> Why do you sound like a fucking boomer, Maya? Hey, I'm Kitty O. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh huh. But you, you are a kid. What a real little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. You're not an adult yet, Maya. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. <laughs> that hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp. And pretty mad. <laughs> I'm Cody. 
Cody Haggins. Call me Kitty Ovigan. I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. All right, let's talk. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. <laughs> Can't fool me. Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in Episode Eight? <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? Oh, what the fuck? Hmm, not bad, Kitty-O. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> same, same, Nick, same. Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Hmm, you were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He, he, he always, the still samurai always win, always. Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. W wait, let me go. Oh shit, you go le he left. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A uh, bottle. Why was it sitting there, I wonder? Oh shit, sleeping pills. I want some of those, to be honest. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Let's go to the old bag. Huh? Where's that old bin bag? Ought of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. S stop! Put that snap in! Y yeah. Sound like she's chasing after that boy. Notch. Uh oh, she tripped. <laughs> my sure looks sad. Hey, my, that's bad. Uh. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer studio, too. We'll be borrowing this right, Nick. Yoink. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, boy. Lawyers that break the law. Let's go. One of the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. Seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Oh, not that eager, huh? Inside the trailer. Oh shit, samurai. Oh, oh man. Oh. Shit, D Vasquez forgot how hot she is. Oh. Eek. S someone's in here. Names. Uh, on names. Um, we're WP's lawyers, and um, I see. A and who might you? D Vasquez, the producer. D Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. My man Phoenix. <laughs> That's first examine. Oh, if only I could examine her. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Still Samurai show. They've got some figures over how much the set cost. Can't believe they spend that much money on these sets. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster's quite old. Oh, wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance? With a samurai and a horse? <laughs> An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite a star. Singing Samurai. Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell does Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! That movie was the best! It's about a movie sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Ha Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing Samurai stars. What's next, Ninja Ballet? <laughs> oh, Phoenix, just wait. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. M miss Vasquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, s script The Still Samurai Episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. <laughs> We're getting nowhere fast. The Still Samurai? Um, we we'd really like to ask you about the Still Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> N Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. Uh, about the director, Salmonella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, 
Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it, huh? <laughs> Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yeah? If you see Manola, give him this. Well, why do we have to do your errands? Because she's hot, Maya. I, I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry, she'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him, if you see him. I wanna be the sub to her dom. Yo, some Manila. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Masika? Uh-oh, uh my ass is pounded if I didn't find it. Shakes. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Alright, man. You fucking pedophiliac piece of sh. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Don't worry, Maya. Hey, look. That's in the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of those. Director? Maya. Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. Found it, Nick. Is that stains? What kind of stains is that? Hey, y y Maya, you better not touch that paper. Uh, there's got some kind of uh, weird stains in it. And I don't want you touching it. It might... It might be some kind of uh, bodily fluids that uh, Salmonella produce or secretes. Ugh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Shit, man. Yo, we're here to give it. Here, we found it. Your script. Ugh. Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you, hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are, anyway? Do you even know who we are? Powers as lawyers, hmm? Uh, um, right. And I am my suspect. N no, it's just, well, no, but... <laughs> oh shit, she's, she's an ice queen. She's so cool. She's uh, good too. You want to know about the day of the murder? Y yeah, I'm thinking you could tell us who would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Y yeah, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people here in this trail that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. I impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? O on the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. <laughs> its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 o'clock. It was after 4 by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in the trailer, stuck until after 4. Hammer died at 2.30. Because none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after 3 o'clock to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. And I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But but wait, what if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well, come. Oh, that's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour, ook 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 ook. <laughs> Always with the cooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. Damn. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Sheesh, what a cold mistress. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP could have killed Hammer. 
It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Alright, Maya. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Who the fuck? Oh, Mia! Mia, it's you! W what took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya's trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Uh, right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble, huh? I'd say so. Uh, what did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. I don't know. It didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy's our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. And I'm more worried than I was before. What do you mean? Our baby's here now. Alright, babe. So, do you have any ideas about who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Where have I heard a phrase before? So that's where my Ma got from. Oh! My poor plant. It looks so... so sluggish. I'm sorry, babe. Have you been watering properly, Phoenix? Um, well, Maya has, actually. I think maybe she's giving it too much. Oh, Maya. Sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie? <laughs> Wait, Charlie with E-Y, then I-E? Ugh. Wait, we can ask her what the movie title is now. Both of an old movie to me, like, Oh, hey, Mia, what's the name of this movie? That movie? Oh, I'm sure like to see that one again. It's, um, what was it again? Sorry, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Well, let me guess. It's a suspense thriller, huh? <laughs> hey Mia, look! My badge. Yo, welcome Dead back men don't tell tales. Hey, it is not Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Shit. No, what's gonna happen? Puff! 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 Hey yo, old bag and Hufflepuff. W what's wrong? Ah, 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 She's been chasing that boy this whole time, huh? Ah, ah, when, when I catch, when I can catch him, I... Ah. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Ah, ah, I, I got a hostage now, Whippersnapper. Ah. Hostage? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, he'll... And I'll puff! <laughs> what are you, the, the wolf and the three little piggies? Lay a flat half puff. My, what a violent little lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Ah, ah, my heart do not feel so good. Is she okay? But before I go, I'd like to v visit the place where Paul Hammer died. Uh, right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Uh, what's this about a hostage? Uh, when that boy was running away, he dropped this uh, and ran. Uh, uh, he'll come back uh, uh, for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Obag, might I... No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm. What is this? Medieval times? Hey, that... Uh, that's a card... Uh, studio One. Right. A card key to Studio One. Uh, uh, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... He died. Uh, I was his... his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Olbag? Studio One isn't my turf. Uh, you'll let me borrow... borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Yeah, here you go. I'm sorry for, uh... I'm sorry for putting the blame on you of the murder. Why didn't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having depths to no swipper snappers. You take this and wear even deal. What's this? Still samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I think it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. May I be used for this? This must be the hostage she was talking about. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Cody Hackins. Hey! Hey you! Wh wait a sec! 
Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Haggins. I think he ran into the dressing room. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found ya! <laughs> Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. Oh, how did she... Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? Mia? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Wow, double standard much? <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <laughs> What's up, yo? The still samurai still cool, yo. I think he's the, um, <laughs> the bomb, bro. <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the still samurai? Hey, watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Oh, really? So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm, looks like a little persuasion's necessary. Maybe a bribe. How about this? Cody, does it look familiar? Hey, my er... You are! You are, huh? You are! You know, ultra rare! That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Hey, come on. I'm just a boomer, man. I'm just uncultured. Wait, not a boomer. I'm uncultured. I'm an uncultured swine, bro. I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect. Excuing the very basic of our consumer society, namely the principles of fair trade. Whoa. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> Damn, this kid knows about the f trading shit, huh? W what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? <laughs> Whatever, I don't need it, card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After winter, all that trouble. If you want to trade, buy me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are rare rarer than playing ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why oh, do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <laughs> you mean medium rare, huh, Phoenix? <laughs> Is Benny here? She is. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yeah? I'm good with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? She seems, like, way bustier, uh, taller. She even has a beauty mark now. Like, what? <laughs> um, nope, she's the same as always. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine Penny has a, having an existential crisis or something. <laughs> like, is this real? <laughs> same as always. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Fanboy. Have you seen a boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I could touch it to collapse. Of course she got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we, we saw them. That was the old windbag doing. She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously, huh? Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yeah, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... What? Well, after what happened? Y you mean you don't know about Hammer? Know what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Whoa, yo, what? Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh, why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Oh, 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 stinky! How about the Steel Samurai cards? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. Complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh? W w w wait That's it! It's a card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. I mean, you're a good girl. <laughs> She's cute like this. Please, I beg you, please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even tra trade you an ultra-rare premium card. Trade me a... huh? Yes, good deal for your ultra-rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? 
what's everybody getting so excited about? <laughs> okay. Really? Th thanks. Then this is for you. <laughs> Yahoo. And there she goes again. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it's a samurai musical set in ancient Japan. Uh, s samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed, you know, you're stumped me, huh? Oh, my, it's a real fan. I just picked a little up. Oh, shit. Mia actually knows about this shit. Cody Hackens. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. See this card? <laughs> yeah, so, wait, that's it? That's the last old for rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, I've never seen him so eager. R right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a Samurai Spear and throw in an evil Magistrator boot. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. You... <laughs> okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take a stand tomorrow. I mean, is that kind of proper? He's still just a kid, too. So, you like to steal Samurai, huh? He's so cool. I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions at his life. I'm being lectured on life by grade schooler. <laughs> the irony. You like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh, me? Y yeah. I am love the Still Samurai. So tell me, what your favorite thing about the Still Samurai is? Uh... <laughs> his kind nature. R right. Come on, think of something. I really like his, um, his kind nature. What a guy. Totally. It looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kid. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So tell me what your favorite thing about a still samurai is. Uh, his fighting skills, huh? I gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wazam! The fuck is that word? The still samurai always win, always! Check this out, it's my fan album! What the? It's all pictures of the still samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other in, up in public. <laughs> Jesus. I always take a picture when the still samurai lands a final blow. Wizam! <laughs> I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Check it out. A new digital camera. Oh, I miss this kind of cameras. Wow, it's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Still Samurai. Pat the Glory. Still Samurai always win. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I did this with a little camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Damn. A generous kid. He's a good one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Yeah. They should know I'm her boyfriend. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that just still Samurai's motto for great justice? Damn, Mia, you actually watched... <laughs> you actually watched Still Samurai? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. Uh, I saw. I saw everything. Well, well. Cody. I need to think I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here in that day around two o'clock. I had to come into the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kinda lost though. I was in there for maybe a, a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that uh, what is it, Cody? The the still samurai killed the bad guy. He used a samurai spear, just like always, one shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. Uh, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. <laughs> yeah, he's calling you plastic, Phoenix. Um, right. Mia? Yes. I think we can say for sure this means it's still Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Walt Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy in this witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then, huh? I 
think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I already know it's a gumshoe because of the pal. Oh, why... You've been spying on us, huh? I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. He's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Whoa. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. W what are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be... Why are you leaving me now, babe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe he's too soft of a guy. Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Ah. Uh. Um, Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah? Why do you look so uh, unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. <laughs> They're tense. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. <laughs> Jesus, Mia. Chill. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Wait, what do you mean by that? Don't. Are, do, don't we have a special relationship or something? There's no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that, or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Hello. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Mrs. Salmonella to the stand. Whoa, sh fuck. Or that director. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director, I make the still samurai noob rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> so, so Manila, I'm a director of television. <laughs> Aw shit, maybe Edward has some dirt on him. I mean, he can arrest him for pedophilia. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yeah, your honor. Hmm. Very well, may you search for the record about the events of that day? Phoenix. Let's start by picking his testimony apart. If Paris is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trial on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. <laughs> I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning I was uh, doing um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch at the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio too, trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Was there something sus about, I mean, maybe the meeting shit? The time of Mr. Hammers, that was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why did you think it took a lot of my time? Why did it go so on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh, right, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. Rafa's... What's that I mean? Rafa's rolling on the floor... Sad? I don't know. Ra Rafa's rolling on the floor... Starving? <laughs> oh, starving! Fuck off. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak, baby. The assistant cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Oh, okay. But that's kind of sus. There, there's plate. There's some plates there in the city too. 
So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? That must have been tough, huh? Uh, Mr. Manila. Uh -oh. What do you want, Mosaka? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on a the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? No, uh, I, um, uh, good call, Mosaka. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. <laughs> I hate this face. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. Kinda hate how I kinda look like him. <laughs> I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I uh, wolf it down, then. Yeah. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. What did you imagine? Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting that contradicts his testimony, I'll press on that one bit more. What were you discussing? There's still Samurai Story in our budget. Get this, the sponsor turned to me and say, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can't you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. Why, why did you write a hentai or something? So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's contradictory. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Y yeah not a one Musica. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, brothel. Well, it's no time for ruffling, Manella. Um, Mr. Manella, what is all about? W well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, good job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. G <laughs> uh oh, Edgeward is laughing. The break. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean? For when I win? For when I win? We took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! There's only 13 in base 12. Well, I, don't, I don't get what you're referencing. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> There's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Steams. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? It's the time of that. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak? What else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was Divas. Sorry, Divaskis's plate. Divaskis? Diva, huh? Suits her. The producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is the critical. Think about it before you give your answer. You claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One. Ah, uh, shit. I claim it and claim it loud, but no, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was po impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treating on Teen Ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the attempt time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. Is it Mrs. Monkey or Mr. Monkey? It's Mr. Monkey. That's a contradiction. <laughs> Even if it's a little contradiction. Huh? At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked 
of the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edward has a point. <laughs> he didn't even have the guts to correct him. Somehow I feel no desire to correct <laughs> See? I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Wh what? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion in this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than past Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Ah, oh, shit. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when a steel samurai skewered the victim. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Bump. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in the trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up in a trial before, not while there was a chance. The only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kinda seems like everyone in the courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer, huh? Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the still samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. Got you. You. Uh, thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. <sighs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is a concern. As our witness has agreed to have tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. God damn it, dogs! Nice to see it we're taking them all high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls a counter. To the stand. <laughs> He's small. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut crates. Guess the judge loves them doing it, sir. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? <laughs> witness. You're mi you're traumatizing him. What? Just because you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around? <laughs> Cody. Answer his questions, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Haggins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness, uh, uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> you were present. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Bobs? You want me to tell you in Grams with a beard over here? Just. Mr. Edgeworth is fine. I refer, Mr. <laughs> a very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Mm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all. At all that good yet. But I bring with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that hammer on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of that hidden court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Well, I wanted to see a still samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods out of the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. 
I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way though for about 30 minutes. And when I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. Totally rock. Right before my eyes out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, I would have been the time for a shot, to tell you. You know, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Wait. Always carries it. Very well, the defense may begin the cross examination. But be gentle, remember? You're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we've seen here, honestly. Ha <laughs> ha boy. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How to explain that? I see. Uh, anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring a camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Gum. Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. True that. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. <laughs> what? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. Did you use this camera, or... Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about what you were bit so busy watching. Y yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action and couldn't take my eyes off it. Still Samurai goes for the bad guy, wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, it's still Samurai rules. Why? Uh, what do you mean, why? Why was it a bad guy moving? Well, well, because the still Samurai brought him to justice. He killed him. <laughs> and how exactly did he do that? Uh, how did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. <laughs> how... How original. S something like that. Still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. I should have played this. Uh, press him harder? Cody. W what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <clears throat> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the still samurais fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. True. Order, order, Mr. Wright. How would this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Show sure, evidence. Your Honor? I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. The camera. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Okay. Bullseye, huh? Well, what's your problem, Pops? You got things for picking on little kids? Uh, pressing, not picking. <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Cody, there is only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. 
Nehemin's business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. B very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> Jesus, Phoenix. Kids? Yeah, you're right, Pops. Still, Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I yelled up at my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened, yup. <laughs> Why did you stutter? That's all? Y yeah I told you I didn't take a picture. I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even once. Nah, I definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Atkins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. How did you know? <laughs> yeah, I see you through all your lies, Cody Atkins. It's one of my powers. Wow! <laughs> this feels great. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that, Phoenix. Y yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. Hmm. Back to glory. Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the still samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I'd find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Gah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Pack the Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Still Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. It claims it's a perfect collection of every bottle the Still Samurai has won. Bottle. Battle. <laughs> uh, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among... Among us? <laughs> among all this picture of the Still Samurai, none were taken that day. Ooh. Mr. Wright, have you no... Have you an explanation? If the Still Samurai just defeated its adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album, huh? Exactly my point, Your Honor. Oh, shit. No. Wait. No way. Phoenix? Oh, yeah, I remember now. I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. But Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what, you, what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. I can't handle the suspense, right? Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The still samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The still samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the still samurai? Lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the still samurai. No way, no! It's impossible, the still samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that a still samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the still samurai lose. He had to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said a still samurai won. He couldn't build handle the truth. Damn. Welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> As Phoenix Wright stated. Order, I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... He's gonna cry. Oh, damn, he balling. Not the ballin' ballin', but the ballin' crying. <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the still samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay. You're right. The still samurai fell down. Then he didn't b move. Well, ah, shit. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The still samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the still samurai was the one who fell. Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? 
still Samurai was a victim? If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the still Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the still Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was a still Samurai. So the still Samurai in this photograph? You're saying the man in this costume was a victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait! Had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. You remember what Miss Oldbag said in the testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station of one. Did I see Paul Old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Oh. Uh -huh -huh. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know yet. I get it. I thought that the steel samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside his suit? Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, I'd vote on my digital camera. Oh shit. What? what Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. Shit. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Here, this is it. <laughs> well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This is indecisive evidence. I'm sorry this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. <laughs> did they not really notice the two? The giant two there? Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number in that gate? The number? Ah, oh, yes, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Gah. I believe Mr. Edward sees what I'm getting at. B but Th that's impossible. Huh? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> are you so <laughs> Why are you so slow, Your Honor? Your Honor, I find it very significant that- Ah, oh, shit, dogs. A few minutes later. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, as I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. As you may recall, there's a, stu there's a trailer in Studio Two. Now on that day, a meeting was held at that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mr. D. Vasquez were outside eating snake, snake steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a still samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. No. This is Ace Attorney. Why would he steal a still samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? W well, no, of course not. Uh, or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. All right. This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on a table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer's and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant Mr. Powers spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up in this bottle. Hmm? I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Alright. 
This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackens' testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The still samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright. Uh, yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal his steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edward? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. His trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Let's go, baby! Yeah, That was a close one. You were saved by hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too. Really? You both seem so... so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting, huh? I was ready to renounce your dad about three times back there. Me too. The dead? <laughs> Yo, guys, chill. <laughs> of course we're kidding. I wasn't. <laughs> Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find a true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. Let's go!